In this problem, we have to solve this equation for x. So the first thing to do will be to isolate um, this piece here. So I'm going to start maybe by subtracting the 7 from both sides. So minus 7, minus 7. So th this ends up being negative square root 3x minus 17 equals 7 minus x. Um, now we're going to go ahead and uh, square both sides. Now if you like, before we do that, you can multiply by negative 1. Let, let's do that to make it look better. So basically we're just going to flip the signs. And so this will become x minus 7, right? Because you're putting a negative here and a negative here, so, so you're flipping the signs. Now we have the square root by itself, so we can square both sides. That's the goal. You isolate the square root and then square both sides to eliminate the square root. So we end up with 3x minus 17. And then we have to multiply this out. One way to do that is to just write it twice and FOIL. So we have 3x minus 17. x times x is x squared. And then x times negative 7 is negative 7x. Then negative 7 times x is negative 7x. And negative 7 times negative 7 is 49. So we, just, we took the x and multiplied by x, and then took the x and multiplied by negative 7. Then did the same thing with negative 7. So we have 3x minus 17 equals x squared. Combining like terms, we have minus 14x plus 49. Getting there. <laughs> so now we have to uh, set this equal to 0. So we'll subtract the 3x, going kind of fast, a long problem, and add the 17. Okay, I'm going to come over here. So these cancel, these cancel, so we're left with x squared minus 17x, uh, and then 17 plus 49, that should be, wow, so 7 plus 49 is, is 56, it should be 66, and that's equal to 0, okay? Now this should factor, it's x, parentheses, x, parentheses, equals 0. So now we have to think about what, what multiplies to 66 that's going to give us uh, uh, 17 somehow when we add. So 66, let's just break it down, 66 is 3 uh, times 22. Right? That's, that's 66. And 22 is 2 times uh, 11. 11, right? So from this we can see uh, how, how can we get 17? Well, looks like if you do uh, 3 times 2 you get 6. And then here you get 11. Yeah, so that works. 6 times 11 is 66. So that might be a, a good candidate here. And the result is positive and the middle term is negative, so they both have to be negative. Wow, that was tough. You have a product equal to 0, so you set each factor equal to 0. And then you get 6 and 11. And whenever you have an equation with square roots, you're supposed to check your answers. So we're going to go ahead and, and, and do that. So let's start by checking um, 6. So let's check 6. Now whenever you check, you're supposed to go back into the original. Okay, so 6 minus square root 3 times 6 minus 17, and that should be equal to 7. So we have 6 minus square root 18 minus uh, 17, and that should be equal to 7. So 6 minus square root of 1, and that should be equal to 7. So 6 minus 1 is 7. Fails! No, no good, right? So no, it's not It's not 6. Uh, I'm hoping it's 11. Let's try. So let's check 11. If it's not 11, then the answer is, is no solution. So 11 minus, and let's see, plugging in the 11 here for all the x's, right? So 3 times 11 minus 17, that should be equal to 7. So 11 minus, let's see, 33 minus 17. 3 times 11 is 33. So 33 minus 17, using my calculator, is 16. So the square root of 16 is 4. So you get 11 minus 4 equals 7. Hoorah! We found the answer. x equals 11. So I went through that kind of fast to keep the video length short. Um, but the idea is this. You start by isolating this. You square both sides. Multiply it out. Set everything equal to 0. Factor and then check your answers. And that is the answer in this case. I hope that made sense.